It's been two months since wildfire tore through Fort McMurray and the danger of another wildfire attacking the city from the outside is very low. But the risk of one inside the city is actually quite high. Our David Thurton now on that risk and what the community is doing about it. May's wildfire left the Birchwood trails here untouched, but this could possibly be one of the most dangerous places when it comes to fires in Fort McMurray, according to the city's fire chief. He was before council this week and he told them that dead trees, stumps, dried out evergreens pose a major fire risk here. We only need one strike of lightning in the middle of that and, and you know, we're in trouble again. So it's just a good preventative measure, I think, for the future. During that wildfire, they cleared hundreds of meters of bush away from homes as a precaution. And what they want to do right now is to get permission for another 95 hectares to be cleared and also for them to be able to remove trees and stumps. They got that permission. The city is giving them $1.5 million to do just that. That pleases walkers like Jennifer Cram. Just because we live so close and I know that there would have been so much more damage done if Birchwood Trails would have been caught. So it's nice to know that they're kind of taking the precautions just in case. The fire department says it wants to do more fire hazard assessments in other communities like Fort Chippewan and Fort Mackay, but at a later date. Right now it says it's focused on high risk areas like here along the Birchwood Trail. David Thurton, CBC News, Fort McMurray.